Welcome to Inspirations by Terry, guys. It is good to be back here doing a video. I know it has been a while since I've been here. I just want to say to you guys that um, there has been so much going on. Um, the last time I was here, I think I was on my way to America. It's been a while. It's been a while. But I want to tell you that through everything that has been going on, um, God has renewed all our strength he has given us renewed sense of purpose um and everything is good everything is not um perfect you know but everything is good so here i am today i want to bring a good message um and the message is um what are you doing with your assignment or your race or your project or whatever it is that you are doing with yourself what are you doing with it or, or how are you functioning and functioning in that assignment or the thing that you are purpose to do I want to read a scripture from Ecclesiastics 9 11 it says I returned and saw under the Sun that in his life in that the time that he was there, you know, under the sun, the time that he was allotted in his years, that the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor the bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happens, happen to them all. So when I was reading that, I was like, wow, you know, we're really without excuse because sometimes we look at someone else and say, wow, look at them. They have a beautiful hair, um, they have a beautiful hair store and they have 10,000 clients and, and look, she's doing wonderful. You know, how does she do it? Or how did that happen? Or we may look at someone else and say, you know, whatever it is, here in Ecclesiastes is saying that the race isn't given to the swift, to, the world, to those who go out and get it done in five years. It might take you 20, but it's not about the time. It's not about being how swift you are, because the word says here, nor the battle to the strong. Oh, well, look at them. I didn't make it because I was too weak. I kept on failing. I kept on giving up. But it said it's not given to the strong either. It's not about how strong you are right? Or, um, or where it says, nor the battle to the strong, nor the bread to the wise. The bread's not just given to those that have wisdom, you know, saying it's given to us all, nor riches to men of understanding. Just because you are wise and you understand certain things doesn't mean that you're going to be the one who's given riches, nor favor to the men of skill. So, don't think, we can't look at anyone else's situation and think that they're favored, or they're stronger, or they're quicker, taking, you know, someone three months to build a house. Oh my God, why is it taking me a whole year? You know, like, stop comparing. You know, it's not about that. It's about you finishing your race. It's about you finishing your course. It's about how you do what you do. So I just want to share with you that it's easy for us to look and see how good and how well someone else is doing in their project or in their assignment. But sometimes we need to put on um, blindfolds or we need to just have, um, you know, tunnel vision where we just keep our focus on God, on us, on our assignment. And let us be our own inspiration because it's not about how fast or quick or how strong you think you are or how much favor you think you have. It's about you taking advantage of the time that you were given, the things that you were given, and making the right decisions with the choices that you were given. Because right here in the scripture, it tells us that time and chance happens to us all. So we're kind of really without excuse, not that anyone has one, but I just wanted to um, come on here and just encourage you that if you're desiring 
to do something or you're in the middle of doing something or you're, you know, you're somewhere along that journey, you're doing well. It's not about, you know, any of those other things. It's about how you are handling what you're doing, doing it to the best of your ability and um, doing it with all your might and all your strength as unto the Lord and he will bless the rest. So with that being said, be encouraged. Um, I love you guys. Let's pray for one another um, and um, be the best that you can be. Be the best you and um, and just get it done every day, forward movement. And always remember, you're in competition with no one. You're, comp you're in competition with yourself, seeing how you could be a better you tomorrow. Look back and say, oh, this is how I was or... Am I growing? Am I, you know, evolving to a better person? Compete with yourself and leave the rest, leave the other things out there, okay? All right, guys, take care, be blessed. And um, my ending is now unto him is who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask, think, or imagine by the grace and power that works within him. I know I'm messing this up, but um, with... Uh, with the grace and power that works within him. Next time I will have it hit written here. That's a shame. I can't memorize that verse. Lord, help me. But anyway, be blessed. Love you. And I will see you soon, guys. Bye.